Hi folks and welcome to today's video. We're going to be talking about the latest updates on the Blackmagic camera app. Are you guys able to see me? <laughs> we are talking about the latest updates on the Blackmagic camera app version 1.4.1. Now there are four new updates on this app that I want us to talk about. Let's dive right in. Whoa. <laughs> People come down here biking, cycling, and I must say this place is fun. <laughs> So I just ran into a problem. I just realized this microphone that I'm holding right here has been recording the entire time it's been in my pocket. Almost two hours of recording. So in version 1.4.1 of the Blackmagic camera app, Blackmagic says that they've improved the problem of dropped frames and freeze frame during recording. Whoa, what's that? Secondly, they're talking about the ability to disable recording of proxy files. More on that later on in the video. Thirdly, general performance and stability of the app. Lastly, the ability to save time-lapse videos even when your phone is in Let's start with the last one. Blackmagic says that you can now save your time-lapse files even when your phone is in low battery mode. That's something that I haven't actually tried using. If you've experienced that problem, then that's something I'm here to explore. About these updates, what really stands out for me is the ability to disable the recording of proxy files. Proxy files are simply copies of the original video files that the Blackmagic Camera app records. And these files are usually smaller in size. Most times they have a resolution of about 1280 by I think 800. I'm not quite sure. I'll put up the numbers on the screen for you to see. Those files can accumulate over time especially if you're recording for long periods of time then those files are going to accumulate in size and that actually encroaches on the limited storage that you have on your device which i think for me is a very good feature to have just for you to be able to turn off proxy recording to save some extra storage on your device i think is kind of banger for me. The other update about intermittent dropped frames and freeze frame during recording. Now yesterday I did come out here and try to record a video but I recorded this video from the other side of the river. To my surprise when I came back I realized that part of the videos were recorded like only the beginning like the first few seconds of the video and the last few seconds of the video so a whole chunk of the middle part of the video went missing. It's not like it was dropped frames, like it only recorded the first 20 seconds and then the last 40 seconds of that video, which I kind of find a little bit disturbing, especially after you've come out and said that you've updated the app to solve the problem of dropped frames. Prior to recording those videos, I made a few changes to my Blackmagic camera app settings. Let's go up here. Whoa. Two changes that I made. One, I turned off recording of proxies. Of course, that's a new feature that Blackmagic now has on the app. And secondly, I changed where my Blackmagic camera app saves its video files. Originally, I had set my files to be saved within the app. Blackmagic offers three options. So you can save your video files within the app or you can save your video files in the app and in the photo gallery, like for those who use iPhones. And lastly, you can save your video files in the file folder of the iPhone. And I switched to saving my video files in the file folder of the iPhone. I am really quite not sure where the problem came from, resulting into me losing a big chunk of my recorded videos and only recording the first few and the last few seconds of a video. Those are the few changes that Blackmagic made to the Blackmagic camera app. Now you get to save some storage space when you turn off proxies. But proxies also come in handy, especially if you want to edit faster. You don't have to task your editing program to create proxy files, which already the Blackmagic Camera app has created for you. So you simply just drag and drop the proxy files together with the original files into your editing suite and just turn on use proxies. In that way, you're going to edit faster. So that's what I had for you guys today. I hope this video has helped somebody out there. And if it did, give this video a like, subscribe to the channel because that's what keeps me going. Otherwise, I love you guys and say hi to your mom. I'm out of here.
Before I started recording the video, I was just walking on the bridge and my eyes were all out there and I hit myself on this. I'm now having a little bit of headache. That vehicle you see right there just died in the middle of the street. Traffic is blocked off here. It's crazy. There's an accident. Just got home. I am sweating. Look at me. Look at me. I am sweating. And the reason why I'm sweating is I walked all the way for about, I don't know, maybe half a kilometer or so. Because the bus I was on, on the route the bus was on, there was a head-on collision between a sedan and these big, huge trailer trucks. And for that reason, the driver on the bus was trying to make a U-turn, or what you call a detour, to some other route. And I was like, hell no. That's going to take freaking long. I was like, hey sir, can I just get off from here? And I was like, sure. Just got off and decided to walk all the way down. I believe I've put in about 1500 steps today. Usually my target is 10,000, but I've gone an extra mile because of that long stretch from the point I got, I got off the bus to home right now. My light is moved to there and my Michelle's laptop is right there. I know for sure she must have been doing some sort of job interview, something of a sort. So you guys remember when I was talking about the Blackmagic camera app and how it recorded only the first few seconds and the last few seconds of the video clip I, I had recorded. So I realized that it was at that moment when I was like, I need to take off these headsets. That was when that actually happened. Now, my headphones, my earphones are kind of messing up with my speech right now because I have connected my wireless headsets to my phone and I'm filming using the Blackmagic camera app. But what I want to really talk about today is the new updates on the Blackmagic camera app. I may as well just take out this earphone. And I didn't know, I thought the problem was with the Blackmagic camera app, but turns out to be the problem was with these things because the same thing happened today when I was filming. So I pulled out my phone and I wanted to show you guys an old prison cell, jail, if you, if you want to call it jail, <laughs> like somewhere downtown Edmonton that is being torn down right now. But just as I reached for my headsets, that video paused. So to my right is the Edmonton police and right next to it is the phone. So I think going forward, I should never have headsets connected to my phone when filming using the Blackmagic camera app. My apologies to Blackmagic because I thought the problem was with the app, but turns out this was the actual problem. Otherwise, I love you guys and I'll see you in the next one. Don't forget to say hi. Peace.